Hello guys, hope you're doing well as always and welcome back to another video. It has been a while. It's been over a month since I've uploaded. Honestly, I've just been trying to work out what exactly I want to do. Obviously, the football vlogs are something that I really enjoy doing. They will keep coming, but I'm just trying to work out exactly what I want to do at the moment. And in terms of the gameplay, I'm having problems with my Elgato, so I'm hoping to get them sorted. I'm waiting to hear back from Elgato, basically, to see what is going on. So the career mode videos will be making a comeback in due course. However, today we are entering, for me, the devil's nest we're going to see Tottenham at home to Brighton in the FA Cup I'm looking forward to it obviously as a Chelsea fan I'm not the biggest Tottenham lover but I don't mind them my mum is a Tottenham fan so I've kind of grown up thinking they're all right you know but ultimately I don't mind what happens today we're hoping for another good game we've seen some great games in the FA Cup today the Chelsea Plymouth game was brilliant just about got through the same with the West Ham Kidderminster game so if there's entertainment anywhere close to that we are going to be in for a treat check the mic and make sure it sound right boys so we're not too far away from the stadium now, we're just following the crowd. Uh, do you want to tell us what's so special about these seats that we got today? Oh, they're uh, premium. premium. We're going hospitality. We're going hospitality, you've sorted us out a deal somehow. Got Wheeling and dealing. Bit of a deal and uh, got uh, free food well I'll say free food probably nuts and crisps but that'll do and uh, free drink at half, half time seats on the halfway line can't say fairer than that it shouldn't be too bad uh, whilst we're here have you got a score prediction for us? I have got a score prediction actually What's your I'm score going prediction? for 3-2 for the Spurs not too shabby see I'm torn between the idea of goals and then not a lot of goals. So I'm going to go for a 2-1, which is the same as what Mus went for. It's what my mum went for as well. So 2-1 win, 3-2 win. Just hoping for some goals, to be honest. We're all, we're all confident of a thrashing by one goal. Anyway, let's get into the stadium, get some food. In with a food review. First of all, what have you got? I have got um, salmon with noodles. It's cold, but it's very tasty. It's delicious. Lovely chocolate. What would you rate it out of 10? Well, I wouldn't just start it. So give, give me a chance. Okay. But so far, I'm going in with a straight eight. Lovely chocolate. I, on the other hand, have gone for the pork burger. I'm going to go give it a go. Smacked on some ketchup as well. Succulent pork. It is actually a very nice bit of pork. Uh, I'm going to give that. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 as well. Oh. Not too shabby at all. Right. Let's get this one finished off and go yeah. on to the next one. Absolutely. Cheers. Oh my god. <laughs> what do you make of the stadium? Wow! <laughs> I mean, wow! There's a lot of Brighton fans here today. It's going to be a good atmosphere, I can feel it. The atmosphere is kicking up big time. Talent man Harry Kane, are we going to see a goal for this today? That is the big question. I hope so. Underway, here we go. Listen to that. <laughs> Harry Kane has had a great chance to score. Mess up from Sanchez. He's got away with one there. Spurs applying the pressure now. It's Harry Kane. What 
fantastic goal from Harry Kane. He missed an opportunity. He didn't miss that one. What do you make of that? Fantastic. Well done. Yes. Go. Cracking goal. Great finish, trademark Harry Kane, and we're back underway. There's Harry Wings. Oh, great effort from Wings. Take it. Fantastic goal. Spurs are 2 0 up. I think it's a deflection. Spurs will take it at 2 0 up, and we are back underway. Half the crowd thought it was in. A lot for Graham Potter's side to come back from. They haven't been bad, but they're just not creating the chances and he's not going to be a happy man come half time. Right now, getting more chances, but they're just not taking them. Another close effort for Brighton. They're getting closer, but just lacking that clinical edge. Just before half time, how many minutes of added time are going to be on? Just the one. Two. Four. That is half time. First two, Brighton nil. Half time, and we found another low lit uh, place to do our little uh, update. So. First of all, Mas, how did you find the first half? Very quiet to start, first 10 minutes or so. But once Kano missed the sitter, it all kicked off him. And um, they controlled it very much from there on. Two good goals. Second one, we think we've got to do a bit of deflection. Yeah, I looked on Sky Sports as we came in and it has gone down as an own goal. But it was good play from Emerson. That's pretty much yeah, the yeah. only decent thing I've seen him do in his first shirt. Yeah, I think it was a good half. I'd say probably the last 10 minutes, Brighton were creeping into it a bit more, but they weren't really threatening Tottenham throughout the first half. I don't think they played particularly bad, but they also, as I said, they didn't really threaten Tottenham that much. Tottenham are definitely the better side. Um, any changes to your predictions, your 3-2? 3-1. But I think um, I do think Brighton need to get their act together a little bit. They need to actually go for it a bit more. Um, yeah, it's almost like they're treating it like a league match. It's not, you know, get one point or lose by a goal or something like that. You're in, you're in all you're out. So I think they need to just go for it. Yeah, definitely. This is probably the best I've seen Spurs play in a long time. Brighton have kind of got to chuck it all uh, at this second half, uh, leave it all out there. Otherwise, they're not going to stand a chance. So it could potentially be a very drab, boring second half with Tottenham trying to hold on to the lead. Or Brighton could open up the game a little bit more. We could see a few more goals. See what happens. Second half's underway. Someone decided to get another beer right before we were going out. Wouldn't expect any less. <laughs> Look at that away. 
Brighton are ready to get going again. It has been coming. It was a great goal from Basuma and I think it took a deflection, but it's now up to Tottenham whether or not they take control of this fixture and secure their place in the next round of the FA Cup. enough for Tottenham but we've seen how good Brighton have been this half <laughs> anything can happen what they threw great at the keeper awful from Morphe that was a chance to get back in the game Danny Welbeck is coming on for Lamptey it's a more attacking approach but they've got to do it if they want to get through to the next round Rodon is coming off Christian Romero on his return from that injury. He's had a good game so far, to be fair. Harry Winks is coming off. Ben Tico is coming on. He's hotly touted by the likes of Aston Villa and other clubs. But Spurs is the destination he chose. Can he make an impact on his debut? Yellow card on his day to prevent Right, so we are home and uh, first things first, what did you make of the stadium? I think that was the first wow factor. Well, wow was the word and I think it was wow, fucking wow if I remember correctly. <laughs> it was brilliant, amazing. Uh, it's probably the best or most amazing initial view I've ever had of the state, uh, walking into a stadium. But as soon as you go through, it is just amazing. Like It, it just looks beautiful. It's so cool. Uh, obviously, you love the smaller grounds and, and the kind of retro feel that they have but as far as modern stadiums go that's definitely definitely up there with potentially the best nothing on Stamford Bridge though I think we can both agree nothing beats the bridge yeah um but yeah it was a good game I thoroughly enjoyed um nice as well to have those little treats in the uh hospitality bit always nice, always yeah. a little perk we were well looked after yeah it was very good but yeah uh I had a very good time the closest I'll ever be to being a Spurs fan and uh, I enjoyed it so we were Spurs for a day. We were, yeah, if you can say that. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. There will be more of these vlogs to come in due course. Hopefully going to get the gameplay coming back soon. Just once to sort out my Elgato. Eventually, it's been going on a bit too long. But thank you very much for watching anyway, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Peace, Peace and love. love.